as we keep shaping who we are by aligning ourselves with with our our soul selves you know as we un, unveil and uncover who we are through this experience of life you know to do that with someone who doesn't take it personal and recognizes like hey you know i I, I can see you're kind of going through something, you know, can we talk about it? And then how can I learn from that? You know, what are you doing that, that could help me? Yes. What a, talk about intention. Curiosity. Right? Curiosity. Curiosity is to me, one of the greatest gifts I have. Yeah. Free choice, free will, curiosity, all of these things just assist us so much. Yeah. That's play. Yeah. That's joyfulness. And that's what get to me. That's what keeps me in a space of open and honest and communication is because it is light. It is freeing. You know, the moment it feels like, you know, in the, in the beginning stages when I was kind of going back and forth, like any time that, you know, I would like, Oh, you, you know, I go want to go back into an old habit. Like I felt like, ugh, like it just, everything just, like I felt like a weight was on my shoulder. Like I felt like I just, oh, it was just terrible. And then when I talked you through, talked through it with you, I just like, oh, okay, I feel so much better. And so, like, why do the back and forth? Why not just stay in that light, in in enjoyment, and that, like that joy and that bliss and that that truth? Yes, you know, that's that's what we are all seeking, and it's what we know is natural, and it's usually we're just getting in our own way. And so part of this practice of being open and honest in your communication to yourself and to those around you is a beautiful way to get back to your natural state to, as we were talking about earlier, giving that nod to your soul self and then allowing your heart and your mind to align. Yes. And even in those moments where either one of us are breaking through a new part of our ego, and there might be frustration. There may be, maybe we don't even understand why we're feeling what we're feeling, but it's just like, ah. it's quite easy for either one of us to think, oh, did I do something to upset the other person? And you and I have gone through this so often where Maybe we don't even know why we're feeling the way that we're feeling. I mean, good Lord, we're in bodies that do all kinds of fun, interesting things. <laughs> and, you know, then there's the outside work. There's, there's all kinds of things. And then on top of all of that, we're consistently doing internal growth and exploration because we desire to have these tools that we know fit before we share out somewhere else. So we're constantly chiseling down even further and further and further. So when we have those moments and I can feel the frustration coming from you, mm. or you can feel the anxiousness coming from me, we go back to the assuming positive intent and we start to ask each other questions. I start to ask you, are you okay? which can come off. I know to some people, like I'm presuming that you're not okay. Every person can have their own dialogue that helps them understand, but we consistently seek to understand, is everything okay in this moment? Is there anything that I have done that is creating this feeling in you? Can you share with me exactly how you're feeling versus where even I started out sometimes, which was, I'm telling you how you feel mm -hmm. because I was observing your nonverbal communication and your, like your tone, your demeanor, and then the words that you were choosing to use. And I would say, you're acting like I frustrated you. You're feeling frustrated and I don't, I don't understand why. Are you okay? And it would just feed. You weren't frustrated before, but suddenly you became frustrated because I told you that you were feeling frustrated, which was not fair on my part. So that gave me an opportunity to learn, to ask open-ended questions such as, are you okay? How are you feeling? Is there anything that I have done that 
is causing this feeling within you. And then that allows you to drill down and go, huh, I don't know this, or this is what is coming up for me. But then it starts a dialogue versus me telling you how you feel. Mm -hmm.